Hi, this is Anne from the Useless Crafter. So today we're going to be doing Anna from Frozen. We're going to make her 30 inches. And this is also going to be part of my live on Instagram with the craft print. So Shondell also records and posts her lives on her Instagram account. So again, it's Instagram.com slash the craft print. Um, but I'm recording it here in case you want just the tutorial without the talking because I <laughs> I've been on her lives before and they're a lot of fun but um, there's a lot of questions and all that stuff so if you want that without if you want something without it here it is uh, for the rest of my followers if you're not gonna go on Instagram it's not a big deal I'm just gonna show you my normal everyday thing with off the mat all right so this image you would go into images and if you want to just learn how to do this and follow along, it doesn't cost anything. So you hit the pound and it's M1CECA7 until you actually go to cut the file, that's when you're charged. So it's you know good to still learn and follow along if you want to. We're working on the same image and so hopefully that makes it easier for you to understand like why I'm doing certain things. So, all right, once it's in, I'm just gonna delete this one because this is a duplicate. How I go to measure how big something is, typically when I'm looking for a file, I'm looking for lots of segments. So in this case, the segment would be her face. She has a hat. She's got bits and pieces of her cape. So all of those are segments, right? Because this, each segment, I want it to be as seamless as possible. So to, in my mind, I'm looking the face as a segment. So if the face is 10 inches, just to use easy numbers, then this is 10 inches, this is 10 inches, this is, you know, I'm adding in my head, okay, I think I can get to 30 inches and be seamless. Um, it's a lot easier if you see the Frida behind me, she's got hair, her face, her top, and then the, her skirt, and then little legs. So when you have that many segments, then you know you can make each section big, 10 inches, let's say, or 11 and a half inches because I'm using 12 by 12 cardstock. Then it can, it adds up quickly. Where you have issues is like Peppa the Pig. She's only got her face and she's got the snout, so it's yeah, it's an even bigger piece, right? And then her, her top, that doesn't help me get to 30 inches. That might get me to 20 inches because, <laughs> because of the weird shape, I can't even make it 10 inches long, right? Or 11 and a half inches long because this way it's gonna be like 15 inches because of her snout, let's say. Um, or if you think of Big Bird, if the way the design is drawn, if they don't have the feathers and we can't break it up into pieces like his arm, his head, his body, then he's just one big yellow piece. If he's one big yellow piece and yellow is a light color, I'm not gonna be able to hide the seams. So he's gonna be 11 and a half inches. <laughs> so you see a lot of times people think, oh, well, the fewer the colors, the easier it is. Actually, the more there is to the, well, not too much because then, then you run down that rabbit hole of you know having 12 colors of cardstock and trying to piece that together. We don't want that either. We want just a happy medium of some segments so that each section can be about 10 inches and a little bit more so that we can get to that 30. All right, sorry. <laughs> that was a long drawn out conversation by myself. Um, all right, so let's make her 30 inches. I'm pretty sure she's gonna be good at 30 inches. Let's reduce the size so we're not scrolling up and down. Now, um, the braid looks kind of long. This cape, I think we're gonna have an issue with this purple lining, but it's okay because it's thin and it's gonna be a dark color. So if I use a dark glitter cardstock, we can cut maybe like right around here and no one will notice that there's a seam there. All right, so let's start working on this file. Let's ungroup it and see how big everything is. So let's look at her face just to double check. So her face is here. Yeah, her face is nine inches by nine inches. It's perfect. So that's gonna be seamless. Um, all right, let's just kind of move everything out of the way. So let's see, okay. We've got it in sections. Let's, okay, so there's the white 
sorry, I'm just moving everything out. So here's her black background that we're gonna need to slice up, right? Cause it's 16 and a half inches by 30. That's way too big for any kind of cardstock that we have. So we're gonna slice this up into pieces that we're gonna put back together like a puzzle. Um, let's see, here's her face. All right, okay. So let's start working on these pieces. The eyes, for instance, see how they're kind of far apart? We'll want to slice it so that we can just make it more compact and efficient when we go to the cutting mat. Um, just because I use a lot of glitter cardstock, I don't want to waste my paper. So if I do this, so instead of it be taking up like seven inches by whatever that was, seven inches by three inches, it's now when I go to the cutting mat, I can put let's move all this stuff out of the way i can put this closer and now it can you know it could just be a scrap piece of paper now it's three inches by two inches um everyone has that right so that's what you want to do with all these pieces so let's delete that here is her mouth all oh, wonderful okay so let's look at each one of these things so this is 10 inches wide but this down here is fine, so let's slice that out. So the purple should be fine, the light purple. And I'm gonna zoom in just to look at this piece. What is this piece here? Oh, so those are little slits? Okay, so let's do this. Let's make this a lot bigger and reuse that. Okay, so we're gonna slice this apart from the purple. So that is completely in our square and the rest is not. So we can slice because we can only slice two things at one time. So we're slicing the purple and let me make it smaller. That might be easier to see. Okay, so here's our sliced little piece. Interesting that Weren't there all those details on there a second ago? That's so weird. Okay, I mean, it's okay. It's, we didn't need those details, but let's move this down so that we're gonna slice that out from the headband or whatever that is. Okay, so now this piece is 10 inches by five. That's totally fine, right? We can cut that with the Cricut. And then when we go to the cutting mat, you can move these in, right? So that your next project that you save this paper, you'll have usable scrap paper. All right, so that's there. Let's make this a little bit smaller so we can see what's going on. All right, so with the hair, let's slice out all these pieces. So here are, her, this is her bangs. Let me see. Let's rotate this to make it easier. and we can make that bigger. All right, so let's slice out the bangs. We can remove the slice results, we don't need that. And then here are her bangs. 10 and a half inches by seven. That's a really sizable piece, right? So we're making a big piece. The fact that her bangs almost covers up a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock is pretty amazing. All right, let's go in here and flip this around and get this little braid out of the way. And you see, like you wanna make sure that it's completely covered in the square and nothing's coming out in the empty space. So let's slice these two items. So this is all good. And then let's get that little guy out, that little piece that's hanging out by itself. We'll rotate this square to make sure that it's completely touching only that little piece there. Okay, and then we'll slice this out. Then we'll deal with this, this braid. This braid looks a little bit long. Okay, so let's delete 
this and this. So this braid is 15 inches by seven and a half. So what I probably would want to do is slice it like right here or something right here just because it's tiny right there so we're not going to notice it and I'm going to use brown glitter cardstock for Anna right yeah because she's brown here um right yeah because Elsa has the blonde hair right okay um <laughs> I know my my trivia of Disney princesses is not good or maybe even slice it right here actually that would be easiest okay so I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna slice it right here it's super thin right there let's bring in a square and glitter cardstock so I'm gonna put it right there okay so glitter cardstock has a direction of grain so what that means is when you take two sheets of cardstock and you put them side by side if the grains aren't facing the same way it's gonna look like two different colors so you want to make sure that when you're sending things into the cutting mat that everything is like for instance what I'm gonna do is on this one to ensure that these two pieces are cut on the same 12 by 12 I'm not gonna rotate this at all because this is now five by nine okay so this is perfect on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock you see how I'm not rotating it I'm just putting it up here so I know that the grain is facing the same way when later I go to assemble this piece to this piece it's all gonna be in one direction so I'm actually going to make sure that these two cut together on the same page of cardstock in the same direction so even if I go and I rotate this they're both rotating at the same angle so when I put this back together with here it's being cut on the same grain <laughs> I hope that makes sense all right so we're gonna do that and our hair is done and I promise you this little cut right here no one's gonna notice it especially with us taking care of it being cut on the same piece of cardstock facing the same direction of green okay so we <laughs> you're like what the heck is she talking about okay let's look at the face real quick if there are seams going through the eyes and the mouth I want to make sure that we um, don't show that seam so what you want to do is you want to make a duplicate copy of the face and then on that duplicate go to contour and hide all So it did not hide all. Did I not? Okay, go to contour and hide all. Okay, there. Okay. And then I want this to be black because this, let me move this to the back. Arrange, send to the back. This is going to go on top of here. So wherever there may be seams, right? And then this will sit on top of that. So if there was a seam running through the eyes or the mouth, it will no longer be visible because you have the pieces of the eye covering it and you have her lips and her teeth, but there's still some black showing through those, through those little, those two pieces. So you just don't want anything distracting in the face. So we're taking every precaution that we can to make sure this is seamless. All right, so now we've got that covered. What do we have left? We have the white left. And this one's easy. We're just going to slice everything apart. Um, yeah, because it's too long. We can't cut it on the, on the Cricut like that anyway. And we can probably group all that together into one small space and save on our white glitter cardstock for next time. Okay, so one by one, we're going to slice this apart. And I'm going to use the same square and I'm just going to move it over and I'm going to go from this side because I left that other white piece there. 
And so you can still slice in all this traffic, right, with all this stuff here, as long as your mouse is only picking up the two items, the white and the square. So now we have these pieces over here. As long as my mouse is only picking up my square and the white over here, it doesn't recognize these two pieces. I can slice that. Okay, still going at it. I'm gonna slice here. And we're almost done. We have just the dark purple and the magenta left and then the black background. It's, she's gonna look really, really good. Okay, I'm gonna turn this over. Okay, so now all the white is done. I want to just um, get rid of all my slice results. So I'm gonna move the square over because I'm probably gonna use the square for over here. All my slice results that I don't need, I'm gonna put it down here and then I'll delete all at one time. Now our canvas is looking kind of messy, but it doesn't really matter, right? As long as everything's in sections and we know where everything is and what's left, it's fine. So here, the white's all scattered, which is totally fine. Let's go over here and look at this piece. All right, so the cape. So the cape, okay, let's look at this for a second. I was gonna say, I didn't think the cape was this big because this piece goes on top. So I'm almost thinking we should just slice these out so that our, um, okay, let me scroll in so I can see, make sure that it matches up perfectly. So this looks like it matches up, oh no, pretty, pretty close there. I think that's right. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to, um, do I slice now? I'm trying to think. Um, I don't think I want to slice just yet. I want to. I want to take this apart. So let's do this. Let's bring in our square. And actually, let me think about this. So this is here. So we can slice this right here. That might be the easiest thing. Slice it right here because we know this dark magenta is covering that or this dark purple. So we can slice right here without any issues. So I think let's do that and see how big our piece is. Okay, so let's make this really big. Turn this over, scoot this, uh, yeah, I think that works, because right there, yeah, there's the purple's running this whole area, this whole thing right here. So, yep, let's do this, let's slice these two things. this get rid of this and then let's put this back um, arrange send to the front yeah see it covers up our seam right there and this piece is nine by 13, but let's rotate this and see if we can make it better. Oh, I gotta unlock it. Okay, 10 by 12, so it's getting better. Okay, 10.5 by 11.8. We can cut that on a 12 by 12 mat. So 
our magenta is gonna look seamless, even though it's not because, but this piece is gonna be covered, so we're gonna be good. Let's just slice this apart to make sure that size-wise we are good. So, so far, everything's looking really good. Her hair is the only thing that has a seam in it right now, but it's in a very small place, and we're gonna use brown glitter cardstock, so we should be fine. All right, so this piece is six and a half by eight. We're good. This piece is 11 by 11. We can, you know, um, slice out this piece. I don't wanna bring in another square. So what we can do is just duplicate this and go to contour and separate it there. So I'm gonna get rid of this piece. So that leaves this piece, which is eight by eight, nine by nine, whatever. This piece, <laughs> contour, get rid of the bottom section. And look at that. So that's our magenta, gonna look amazing. All right, let's look at this guy. Um, okay, so this guy has this piece right here. Let's duplicate it and hide all. We want just that V section right there. So we're gonna click on hide all. And we want this V, we don't want this trim. And here's our V. So then on this one, let's contour and hide that V. And we're left with just the bottom okay so the bottom is too big right and we were talking about slicing this line because it is way too long no matter how we move or shift this thing i think it's going to be too big um now what we can do to make our lives a little bit easier is this this is two pieces here this is two pieces this might be two pieces but i would make this connection a little bit stronger just to make sure so we can make those pieces easier for us by connecting it right here so let's go and bring in some circles oh, whoa. and make it really 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 small and then let's duplicate that a few times because we need a few of these. And I don't wanna lose the detail of the beautiful jacket, but no one's gonna know that this section had this little cut right here. <laughs> I'm gonna move it, oh, I'm gonna unlock this and flatten it a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna turn this, let me make this bigger so we can see what we're doing. So where I put that circle, oh, almost, let me see if I can turn it a little bit more. Okay. It almost looks like it's going to be in that perfect shape right there. Okay. And then let's, oh yeah, see these two are two different pieces. So what I want to do is I want to make them one piece because that's going to be easier. We already have so many parts to this, to this project. So I'm just gonna connect it right there. No one's gonna know that the jacket had two pieces here. I'm gonna rotate it just a little bit. So it's gonna connect there. Then we've got one more piece over here. I'm gonna connect it maybe right, right here, is that a good spot? Actually, I'm gonna connect it right here. Now unlock that. Flatten this a little bit, turn it, and fit it in right there. Okay, I'm telling you, no one's gonna know. Okay, <laughs> so now I'm gonna grab all these pieces, and I don't know if it grabbed that circle. Oh, it did, okay. And we're gonna weld. Okay, so you see this? I mean, no way, you can't tell me that this looks crazy. 
it just looks like this is one piece, this is one piece, this is one piece. It still has all the details, right? But it's gonna be so much easier on us later because they're just big pieces and we don't have to worry about keeping track of so many. So let's reduce this and finish the rest of separating this out though, right? Because this is still too big as is. So what we want is let's bring in a square and start slicing out these pieces. And we don't have to separate each piece. We could do something like and slice. Okay, so that piece is separated. Um, I don't know, I don't think I can separate these out very well. So what I'm gonna do instead is let's get rid of these and let's go to contour and separate this out. So this right now is, yeah, it's too big. Um, so when you're using contour to separate this out, however many pieces you have is how many copies we need. <laughs> Sorry, one, two, three, four, five. So we need five of these. Two, three, four, and five. So let's go to contour and we're going to separate, we're going to hide everything but one piece at a time. Okay. So let's hide all. It left us with the ring, the, the trim, I should say. Uh, what just happened? Hide all. So yeah, so see this is 17 inches by six. I don't think I can get this to fit. Yeah, it's too long. So we're gonna need to slice it somewhere. But this is pretty thin and with a dark purple glitter cardstock, you're not even gonna see it. Oh, I, there's the other piece. Let's go to contour. Okay, so on this one, let's say we want this. We don't want this. Oops. So here's that piece. And then on this one, let's go to contour. Hide all. Let's do this piece. Okay, perfect. Let's get rid of this piece. All right, so the only pieces left are the two pieces that we welded together. So let's go to contour. Okay, on this one, I don't want this, this, or this, or this, or these little dots. All right. I'm not sure which way is easiest to do this. All right, so here's our little piece, three and in, four inches by five and a half inches, perfect. So on this one, we need this little guy right here. So let's go to contour. Let's hide all. I want this piece, I don't want this piece. And I want these little cutouts. All right. So on this one, we need to slice it. I don't think it matters too much where we slice it. Um, it's long, so we need to slice it somewhere around here. I don't think anyone will notice. Let's grab these two things and slice. Now on this one, we can make sure that it goes with the grain as well. I'm not as concerned because it's thinner, but we will make sure. So the way we make sure is let's get rid of these slice results. We're just going to move this down like so. We don't want to twist or anything because we want it to be parallel to the cut. So then we're gonna attach, and that's gonna be it. Okay, are we done? 
So, oops, I think we're done except for the black background. Yay. All right, so let's get this done. <laughs> let's delete that. I'm going to move, I'm going to grab all this stuff and move it over just to give us a clean space. Okay, this girl right here. Let's bring in our squares. So what we're building here is a grid of squares. We're building it this way so that we can make sure that the squares are completely flushed with each other so that when the pieces come back where we were taping them back together, they're gonna butt up next to each other because we don't want any gaps. Gaps are gonna show us the seams and we don't want any overlays either. It doesn't make sense to do that. So when you're doing it this way, all the corners will match up. It's so easy to put it back together. So on this first square, let's make it 11 inches. Because I'm using 12 by 12 cardstock. Technically you could do 11 and a half by 11 and a half, but I don't like half inches. So we're gonna do 11. All right, we're gonna just put it down. We're gonna go to the position feature and round to the nearest whole number. So 11.9 becomes 12, 4.056 becomes four. And then we're gonna duplicate that square and we're gonna put it really close to the first one and then round. 23.3 becomes 23, 3.9 becomes four. Okay, so now we have two squares completely flush with each other. Let's talk about the coordinates right now. So this first one is at 12 and four. That means 12 is the one that X axis is the one running across. So go over 12 units, go down four units. Here's the beginning of our square. This is at 12, 12 plus the 11 inches is 23. So there's 23. So it's, it's, we know it's completely flushed, okay? Grab both squares by hitting the shift key. So now both of them are highlighted, duplicate. And we're gonna put this one down by the first one. Okay, 11.9 becomes 12, 15.2 becomes 15. All right, one more. Twelve and 26 and then scroll down let's go get our black background now she has um, a gray cut that's not being seen I would just grab it and delete it okay so here's our black background arrange send to the front okay what we're looking for here is and let me zoom in so that you can see this is what we don't want right here, for a little tip to be sliced off that you need to keep track of, right? Some things we can't, I mean, sometimes, depending on how big and the image file itself, we can't control it. It's going to come out like that, but when we can control it, we don't want it. <laughs> so let's make sure this is part of one big piece here, which it is, right? So here's our seam coming down. Let's scroll down. Um, See, this is gonna cut off right here, but is it, because is it connected right here? I can't tell. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Let's see what we're doing here. Okay, so this top two squares I think are good. That's just design space being funky. Um, I seriously, I, I think they're separated. So this is gonna give us a piece down here and here. This looks pretty good. I mean, there's nothing that we can do about it unless, let's zoom out. Unless we do this. Unless we do this. There, now we have big pieces. I twisted her around a little bit, but there. Perfect, right? Um, all right, so let's start slicing. We're gonna slice one square at a time. Okay, this is design space acting up. Just undo it and we're gonna go around it. We'll slice everything but that square. 
it happens to me, I think at least 50% of the time. And we're almost done. Do that slice. One more slice and then Okay, I think we're done. So I'm gonna move everything over. I do like to reassemble it on this side just to make sure all my pieces are good. Um, and then it also helps me because with the black background, I usually just use regular black cardstock. So I can't always tell the front from the back. So sometimes I flip things over. It's just easier this way. All right, so we have six you know, sizable pieces. We can delete that. And we are done. Okay, Anna, 30 inches, IG Live. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go to the Make It screen. We still don't pay yet until we actually go to cut it. I wanna show you what that looks like. So let's go to the Make It screen. If it gets there, okay. <laughs> okay, this just tells you they want us using a 12 by 12 mat, don't worry. I mean a 12 by 24 mat, don't worry about it. Just click okay. All right, so here's all our white. We could make this a little bit more. You can scoot everything in, okay? That's always something that you can do. Let's look at our black pieces. Here is our black background. Okay, this little guy is kind of small. I think he can fit somewhere else. So let's go and click on the three dots and move object. And I think he can fit maybe right here. Confirm. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, I think all the other pieces are kind of big and won't fit. Let me just, yeah. All right, here's the face. Beautiful. Here's her hair. So remember, this is attached because we want this to be seamless, as seamless as possible. So it's parallel to each other. I think we can move this. Oh, like. in here and then I think this piece can be moved for sure to I wonder can they all no I don't think that they can the bangs were too long or too big, right? <laughs> okay, so this, we can twist this, something like this. You just wanna make sure that they're not overlapping though, okay? Because then, then you'll have to cut another piece again. But this leaves us with usable scrap next time, right? Okay, so that, there's our Brown hair, here are her eyes. You can move this down here a little bit. Turn it. Okay. Here's the purple. Yeah, you can move this up here, this over here. So this could be more usable scrap next time. And these two are attached, but we can move this in. Man, it's glitchy today. These little pieces can go, maybe this will fit upside down in there. 
No, I think my piece is too long. Yeah. But maybe this can go up here. This little guy can go here. And this is just what it is. But that leaves us, you know, with usable space next time. Oh, wait. Let's move this one. Move to the previous screen. Maybe this one, I'll do this. So this is a little bit more usable for next time. All right, let's look at our magenta. So our magenta, it's saying it needs this, the way it they put it on the mat, it looks like we need more than 12 by 12. But remember that we can move this over and rotate it. Oh, if it lets me rotate it. <laughs> okay, it's still too big. Okay, so this right here, wait, yeah. See, it's above the 12 inch line. So I can put down my 12 by 12 cardstock. It doesn't want to cut all the way to here. It wants to cut only up to 11 and a half, right? Or is it a, yeah. So, but I wouldn't worry about that. This is fine. If you don't have a 12 by 24 mat, you can just move this piece. Click on the three dots, move object. And it can either, if it fits on, one of these pages, which it looks like I think it can. Okay, design space is really, really glitchy right now. But see, this fits, right? So our cape, this one, doesn't matter that it's showing on a 12 by 24 mat. You can use 12 by 12 mat with 12 by 12 cardstock. It will cut, this one will cut fine. Um, her lips are showing a different color. If you want it to match with the magenta, you could do that as well. But that's it, you're done. Yay, I will see you guys next time. Let me know what you think. All right, bye guys.